You're watching RRLRC, home of backyard RC car racing. Round three featured a come from behind win from none other than the Speed King, Brent Post. Here in round four, these racers visit NR Extreme Speedway for the second time this series. The 3D RC qualifying results have Cohen on pole for the third time in four races and his first here at NR. Here we go! The green flag waves in this A main, already trouble out of the gate for fourth through sixth place. Looks like Johnston hit the first turn tubing. Yeah, buddy. Races aren't won in the first lap, let alone the first turn. Johnson's more giddy than a pig in mud. And another hiccup this time, it's Post and Louisa getting tangled up, heading into the latest update to this track, the extension to the hairpin turn. Cam Cohen on the call here, joined by Lars Dencher, who tells me he has quite the racing background. He's the fastest guy in town. I'll tell you what. I've got at least a dozen speeding tickets while towing other vehicles. And each time, I've taken a selfie with the arresting officer to show my buddies that Dencher here is no fake too. <laughs> well, Cohen might have something to say about that, Lars, as he's putting serious distance on the blue buggy of Post. Over a five-second lead for the defending short course truck series champ. From watching here at my toilet seat, Cohen is the man on the move. Entering turn one, that's Post tagging Whoa. the cushion. Louisa knocks Post free, but not until Johnston overtakes Louisa for third. Lap traffic for Cohen. The inaugural Backyard Buggy Series is coming down to the wire as top backyard racers go head-to-head -head in can't-miss competition. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell right here on RRL RC. Talk about competition, Cohen is racing himself out there, notching a sub-16 second lap. That's the fastest lap time by a mile right now. Last place, Nelson on his lid off the back straightaway, and then in the middle of the track lies Kosh. A slow response for the marshal flips him the wrong way. That ain't right. That marshal's making himself look like the stupidest halfwit at the Chuck and Cheese. Oh, Lord, I apologize for that right there. Meanwhile, Post finds himself nearly 12 seconds behind Cohen in first. You're darn Lars, right. Lars, there's no way Cohen checks out here, right? Watching last round from my toilet, all I know is Cohen senses the urgency to win, especially here at his backyard home track. But there's plenty more racing to do in this one. Hold on. You've been watching this entire series from your toilet seat? That's right. I removed my bathroom door so I could watch TV from the commode. And I thought I've heard it all. Eight seconds separates first and second now as Cohen tries to limit his hang time over the double kicker. And we get eyes on the yellow-wheeled car of Johnston in the middle of this race, and he flips his car on the back Whoa. straight and also Golly. just lost position to Nelson, who is suddenly making moves. Yeah, I don't think the term consistency and Johnston get along. Kind of like me and my lifelong band at the local water park. And a nice maneuver by Louisa to avoid collecting cash entering turn one. Louisa, the faceless wonder, keeps his podium hopes alive. Lap track. Ooh, a uh. mid-air collision. That's Kosh and Cohen. And Kosh got the worst of that one. Post gains a lot of ground on that first place orange car. With six whole buggies on this smaller, more technical track, it's not if mistakes will happen, but when. Mm-hmm. And just like that, Cohen now maintains a less than five-second lead over Post. And uh, Cohen uh, uh. gets it wrong around the double apex. Louisa not giving up an inch. This is backyard racing, folks. Oh, sh**. Disaster for Cohen stuck along the tube with Louisa. The marshal runs over to assist, but not before Post slides by to take the lead. No rules say you pull over for the leader. Might be a gentleman's league, but I don't need a clean shirt to go to work, Cam. More action following the tabletop. Post gets squirrely and Cohen powers by. He's back to the point. Left traffic, it's Koss again. Another tough break for the team associated B6.1D of Kosh. Cohen holds about a one second lead over Post. Kosh and Louisa are all tangled up like a couple at prom night down the back straight. That might be good on the dance floor, but not good on the track. And now it's Nelson involved with Kosh along the final turn, and I think Kosh has seen enough. He's calling it a race. Yeah, but I can't blame Kosh one bit. Oh, Josh, the good lord. But yeah, well, Kosh, he was having no fun today. Mm-mm. A racer probably having more fun is Nelson, at one point in last place, now finds himself firmly in third. If you're just joining us, Cohen at one point held a 12-second lead over Post in second, but now they are separated by a car length. What? Our leaders make mistakes over the tabletop. Cohen holds up briefly. Oh, contact. Contact with Nelson and Cohen. 
Post overtakes Cohen down the back straightaway. Cohen certainly looked to be knocked off his racing line given the traffic. Less than a tire length between two of RRL RC's finest. Wow, what a veteran adjustment move by Post to avoid hitting that flip car. These two buggies are wide open and Post has nothing but clean air ahead of him as we approach one minute left. We got a race here, partner. You see that? Post let up just enough around that back turn, and he avoided the oversteer, unlike Cullen there. Cullen checked up right there, too. This last minute is brought to you by 3D RC Racing, your RC car parts reimagined. Click the link in the description to learn more. And on the second straight lap, it's too much speed for Cullen, heading into the final few turns. Now a second separates the top two. From entry to exit, Post seems to have command of these back few turns. That's the X factor down the stretch. Cohen does well in the first few turns. Post picks it up toward the end. Can't forget about Luisa only down a few seconds to Johnston, who pulled over for the race leaders. Cohen knows his window is closing to catch first in what would be one of the worst collapses in backyard racing league history. Oh, boy. Another oversteer there. Well, when both top racers are putting down fast laps, every split second makes or breaks you. Cohen pushing hard, but it does not look like it will be hard enough. Down the back straight is Post expertly controlling his buggy through that tricky first turn. Cohen's going to get caught at the line here. That's it. It's a drag race for fourth. Whoa. Luisa goes two inside and hits Johnston. Johnston survives the spin out and holds on for fourth. Post only needed to lead eight laps to defend his NRES track dominance and earn his third win in four races. This one's gonna stink for Cohen, and for Post, he continues to raise the bar of backyard scale motorsports. Great racing all around. This has been a presentation of RRLRC. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.